Hi, Yarn and Bees. How are you today? Oh, <laughs> sitting on my sweater. Uh, so I've noticed that a bunch of um, the YouTube channels that I've been watching have been doing a goals for 2023. So um, I thought maybe I'd jump on that bandwagon. It's not, I don't really have goals or resolutions or anything like that. I have ideas. So I wanted to kind of throw that past you. <clears throat> um, I got an email from a wonderful uh, Yarnaby who has been with me from almost the beginning, I think. Uh, I'm not going to say who it is but she knows who she is. And um, she kind of gave me a <laughs> in a nice way, um, <clears throat> you know, and she kind of put things back into perspective for me. Um, I've been having issues in the last few months, right? And I've been asking you guys questions and uh, you know saying what do you guys want to see on the channel and and stuff like that and she basically said to me it's my channel do what I want not what everybody else wants or what everybody else is doing do what makes me happy make you know doing things that you guys want makes me happy but um, she had a point in like it was a long a long email and I cried and I laughed and I cried and I laughed and I I realized that I have been holding a lot of tension and I've been focused so much on like oh I gotta make videos that people are gonna like and I'm gonna I need content and I need you know like all these things that YouTubers think about. <clears throat> a lot of YouTubers, they focus on the analytics, how many likes they have, how many subscribers they have, how many views they have, stuff like that. And I don't so much. Um, I'm more focused on, I got to get content out, but I don't go like overboard. You know what I mean? Um, I'm constantly thinking about ideas. <clears throat> some are great, some will flop. But uh, I, I also want it to be something that you're going to enjoy, as well as myself. So she was saying, you know, make a list. Make a list of things that you want to do, things that you want to see on your channel, um, <clears throat> and stuff like that. And something that she had mentioned to me was she did not understand why YouTubers have a couple of different channels for different crafts. Um, and guilty, guilty. I made my, uh, my Spirit Raven channel for my jewelry and for my crystals and everything. I since have taken that down <clears throat> so you won't see it in my description box uh, what you will see is a different channel okay I'm I'm a believer of keeping crochet crochet and everything else on a different channel that's just me um, I know when I'm looking at other people's channels I I focus on crochet or I focus on jewelry or I focus on, you know, like I, I can't watch a channel that has oh, so many different things going on and I can't keep track of what's what. And, you know, it's like, I, I, it's, I don't know if it's OCD. I don't know if it's like, like, I don't know what it is, but I, that's just something I have a hard time with. So not to say that if something on that channel popped up that I wasn't, you know, interested in, I wouldn't watch it. Um, but I just, I have categories, you know what I mean? 
But what I decided to do is step outside my comfort zone. And I'm going to keep this channel as crochet. Crochet and yarn related stuff. That's it. The other channel that I am starting, George came up with the, the channel name, which I think was kind of clever. <clears throat> it's called Witchcraft. And it's not what you think. Um, it's spelled W-H-I-C-H craft. So it's, it's in, you know, which craft do you like to watch? Which craft do you like to do? Uh, which craft interests you? So it's kind of a play on words. Uh, so I have that channel over there. And that is where I am going to have my jewelry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, if I decide to paint again, uh, that's going to be there. I'm going to show some of the other things that I've done in the past. Um, like my some of my OGs out there, you know what I'm talking about. I did canvas masks, uh, or not canvas masks, canvas with masks on them. Um, I actually did one for the channel where I had yarn balls and I put yarn balls all over it and then I gave it away. I, get, I did a giveaway and, um, and a, a subscriber had won it. <clears throat> I might do that again, I'm not sure because I've gotten rid of a lot of my craft stuff downstairs because I wanted to solely focus on crochet. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but I really wanted to have a place other than this, that you guys that do like to have channels that are all over the place with their crafts can go to, to see what else I'm doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. I may do jewelry tutorials over there. Um, I like, who knows what I'm going to put over there? I don't know. Uh, but I, I really wanted to have it segregated so that the people that, you know, it's just like crochet and knitting, you know, a lot of crocheters don't want to watch a channel that does both, right? They won't go to a knitting channel because they don't knit, right? Um, I'm hearing a lot of buzz in the community of people losing subscribers because they do both, which is really sad. But, you know, I personally, I'm the same way. I don't watch knitting stuff, <clears throat> right? So, excuse my throat, you guys. I'll tell you a little bit more on that in a minute. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, also, I have, I was writing down after I had had read that email, I started writing down some of the stuff that I would like to see coming up on my channel for this year. And I would like to share that with you. Okay. At first I was going to do a monthly thing. And then I thought about the movie marquee challenge that I did with Heather, the crochet witch. And I kind of went, huh. I can't solidify a time frame for myself because of things that go on in my life. I've got the new grandbaby now. I'm going to have, <clears throat> excuse me, my niece's baby coming. Um, I just, there's just too much going on in my life. Plus all the stuff I want to do for the channel, plus working, plus all this other stuff. I, I just can't, um, I can't commit to a block of time like that. So I'm, cha I'm going to change up what I've got. Like I've got, I've got like monthly kind of stuff. January, it was more like a three month slot. So I don't know if I'm still going to do that. But what I want to do is I want to have, yeah, it's three months each. So maybe I will still do it. <clears throat> Um, what I want to do is have January, February, March for a set of projects that I want to do. It's going to be maybe two projects minimum. And, um, 
and then carry on like that every three months. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I'm thinking for January, since everybody's talking about this, I'm thinking for January, February, and March, I want to do at least two Jacob's Ladders projects possibly doing tutorials on it. Uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely going to do a tutorial on this. I've already got some yarn put away for that <coughs> or put aside for that. I was going to start that today and things didn't happen. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking about doing for January, February, and March is Jacob's Ladder projects. Okay. And these are going to be projects that you know, um, I'm not going to be saying, uh, okay, here's the tutorial, do the tutorial in within the next three months and whatever, right? <clears throat> what I'm going to be doing is saying, you know, okay, do any project you want in the Jacob's Ladder stitch, okay? Um, and then maybe have a tutorial on the how to do a Jacob's Ladder. See what I mean? So, um, then in April, May, and June, I'm thinking about doing a waffle stitch segment. Okay. Um, seeing that June is Pride Month, um, so I was, I was, uh, April, May, June. Yeah. So June, July, and August, I was thinking about doing pride month or pride, the, you know, pride projects in the pride colors. Actually, this isn't pride colors. It's not all pride colors. <laughs> so, and then August, uh, what is it? J June, July, August, September. No. July, August, September. I have to work on this a little bit. Um, so October, November, December. <coughs> or no, sorry. I, I skipped something here. June, July, August. Or is it July, August, September? Like I said, it's all mixed up right now. I was thinking about the mesh stitch and doing that for the next three months. Um... And then uh, for the next three months, I figured the basket weave. And then <clears throat> I think that's it. October, November, December. Yeah, the basket weave. So that's kind of where I'm, kind of, I'm thinking about things. Um, and then I was thinking about doing like a, pal a, a color palette of the month or something. <clears throat> so I would I would put up a picture of a color palette and you could do a project with those colors in it. Uh, oh, eating fur. Um, what else? And then I also have something that I want to do with Angela, my precious yarnery, but she you can't do it until she's moved to Nova Scotia. So um, that's going to probably be later <clears throat> later in, in maybe in the summer or something. I'm also going to be doing some, um, a collab with Charlie from Have a Yarn Have a Yarn with Charlie. We were just talking about that today. We're in the process of, of working it out at the moment. Um, I'm excited about that one. <clears throat> um, what else? Uh, so that's as far as figuring out what I want to do with my channel. That's, that's it. Um, it's, there's going to be a lot of projects and all of that, right? So, uh, I have to figure out what projects I want to do. It may just be off the top of my head. It might, I, I might search it out, you know, um, but Maybe what I can do as well is, uh, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> um, mix the 
palette of palette color of the month with the stitch of the month. Um, that might be an idea. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, so I've got some things coming up that I want to do with you guys. And I'm not going to focus so much on, um, like pressuring myself so much on my channel, but I do want to up my game because I feel like I've just kind of backslid a little bit with my channel. Uh, and that has stressed me out. I know you guys are going to say no, 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 and all that, but you know what? Um, speaking of analytics, the analytics don't lie. So, um, I really want to do more with you guys. And I know you guys want, uh, uh, from the, uh, poll that I did with you guys, you want tutorials. I know you want a lot more tutorials. A lot of you said that you want cardigan tutorials, which really shocked me. It really surprised me because I've had a lot of comments in the past that, um, were saying that people were intimidated by doing a wearable. So I know that I've gotten a lot more subscribers in the last while. So maybe that's the difference. I don't know, but I am going to mix it up. I'm not just going to do wearables all the time, but I am going to try and do some wearables during the summer. Just easy stuff. Like I've got, that's why I've got the mesh stitch down for later in the summer. Um, you know, so we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, so that is my update. That is what is coming up on Crochet A Canada. And I'm really hoping to get George on more. Um, we, <laughs> we had, he called me and told me about some of the deliveries that he had. Um, so we're thinking about, you know, switching his carpet trails a little bit to the dashing trails. And because uh, he works for DoorDash as well. So we're thinking about doing um, little segments like that. And uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. So I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited for what's coming up this year. And yeah, so I guess that's it. All right, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thanks for sticking in with me. And if you haven't done it yet, subscribe and like <laughs> and do all the things I never say that you know but I think I got to start doing that so if you haven't subscribed please do and don't forget to hit the no notification bell so that you will be um, notified of any upcoming videos I've heard some people saying that they're not getting notified <sighs> YouTube mm, I don't know <laughs> so okay I love you all and I will talk to you soon